We didn't lose. <laughs> we didn't lose. <laughs>What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back for some more gameplay. Uh, today we're going to be playing potentially the worst deck I've ever played slash built, uh, which is great. What a great thing to start off on. Uh, now, before we do that, I just want to remind you, if you're not already, please do feel free to subscribe. We really would appreciate it. Any new uh, comers to the channel, anybody like that is more than welcome. We've got a really amazing community and it's great for you guys to be a part of it. So thank you guys so much for uh, for hanging out with me as we play some games. Now, let's talk about this deck. Uh, you may be looking at this like, wow, what a pile of crap. And you're right. Uh, so the idea I played yesterday a deck, uh, or played against a deck, and we did beat it, that played Ruin Crab as well as Croaking Counterpart. Now, Ruin Crab we've had in standard for a while. You play a land, you mill three cards. Pretty straightforward. But Croaking Counterpart, kind of an interesting card. It creates a, to a token copy of a creature, except it's a 1-1 one -one, uh, green frog instead. But the ability stays the same. So the idea is that you can copy Ruin Crab uh, once and then flash this back for five and copy it again if you'd like, and hopefully kind of push through some mill with that. Now we've obvious, obviously gone a little bit further with that. We've got Glass Pool Mimic here that can copy it, as well as Double Major, which as you play it, you can copy it as well. Uh, but I thought, you know, that's that's fine and all, but we need to play some extra lands during our turn. So how are we gonna do that? Well, Druid class, Gonna give us the ability not only to gain life as we draw or as we play those lands, but then theoretically, uh, anytime a land comes into play, we might be able to get, uh, or we can play an additional land, excuse me. Uh, and so we might be able to kind of double up there. We also have Gretchen, uh, which you can draw a card and put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Uh, a nice little 0 4 wall, basically, but it does, again, kind of help with the mill process. And then Zimone, Quandrix Prodigy, which again, for one and tapping it, you can throw a land onto the battlefield as well you can also draw cards uh, as you've got more lands on the field it actually goes up to two cards which is quite good uh, we do have maddening cacophony here this is a really big mill spell obviously in this list uh, the idea being that we can mill half the deck, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, and then Test of Talents is here as a protection spell. So what this allows us to do is if they happen to have a sweeper in the deck, if it's a control list or something like that, potentially being able to just say, okay, well, no, and get rid of all your sweepers uh, seems quite useful. Uh, maybe that's not the case. I don't know, but we're going to try. Uh, and then one last card here as just a two of... Uh, Augur of Autumn, a 2-3 three for 3. You can look at the top card of your deck at any time and you can play lands from the top of your deck. That's really the crucial part. However, uh, if we do have Coven, you actually can uh, also play creatures from the top of your deck. So the idea being, if we've got a Gretchen or a Zimone or a Ruin Crab on top, we might be able to just play it off of this. Uh, don't expect that to be super relevant, to be honest, but the land might be. Uh, we do have Hall of the Storm Giants as an extra win con here. This just gives us a little bit of an out. Uh, if We've got 26 lands in this deck, the idea being that we need a lot of lands, which is so stupid, but uh, we're going to try it. And then four Evolving Wilds and four Field of Ruin. This gives us extra land drops per turn. So the idea being we can drop an Evolving Wilds, Crack it, get an extra land drop here. Field of Ruin, hopefully going to blow up some of the opponent's man lands. There's a lot of those going around right now. But then also being able to pull out another land during our turn. So all that to say, this deck is really bad, in my opinion. Uh, but I think it could be really, really fun. So today, we're not in it for the wins. We're going to be in this to just have a good time, have some fun with the deck, and just see what we can do. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's give it a shot, and let's see what we can make happen. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, and do we like this hand? Not really. <laughs> uh, but I think we're going to keep... We're going to try it. We can throw the Glass Pool Mimic out as a land. That's a very important piece to this. Uh, this allows us... Again, we've got so many lands in the deck. Essentially, we have 30 lands in this list. So we've got plenty of options here. We can go ahead and get Gretchen down. Uh, I don't like that we have these doubled up here, but 
it's okay. We'll uh, we'll make it work. We can drop the auger then this coming turn and then hopefully play some lands off the top. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and play the auger. Uh, and we'll obviously not attack. Um, <laughs> uh, so this is going to get in and they're going to obviously be able to venture into the dungeon uh, twice, in fact. So that's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, so as you can tell, we're not milling at all. That's because we're basing this entire deck off of four cards. <laughs> uh, but the good news is we do potentially get some shuffles. The, the Augur of Autumn with this does actually kind of help in that regard. Uh, and, well, that doesn't really work, does it? Um, let's see, let's see. Let's throw you down. We're not going to crack it yet. Um... I think we wait on that as well. We've got the Ruin Crab in coming incoming next turn, which I just feel like is is very much worth waiting for here. Uh yeah. This has first strike and death touch worth noting, so it is very difficult for us to block. That is okay-ish. Uh we're not gonna block here. Take it and pass. All right, so they're going to venture again twice. We'll resolve all. We're not going to do anything. Um, guys, this deck is so bad. <laughs> it's OK, though. We're here to have a fun time. That's all we're here to do. Uh, I do really like the idea of a little mill deck like this. I think it's very silly, um, but obviously not not great. Uh, let's play you. All right. Um, let's play. Let's do this. Let's shuffle here. We're going to get a blue source. If we get another blue source off the top, we can actually croaking counterpart here as well. We did not. That's fine. Go ahead and play that. <laughs> um, I wish we could have copied this, but we just didn't have the ability to. So let's just go ahead. Let's do this again. And we'll get another blue source here. All right. We milled. A decent chunk uh and we actually can i mean there's no reason to i guess is there let's not attack in we can potentially block this here so we'll let it be let it be um all right wonderful um <laughs> we do have gretchen here activated now so we can actually just draw a card and throw a land on the battlefield as well if we need to um which is kind of cool all right uh I mean, we're just going to be taking the hit. I, there's nothing. I mean, we're pretty dead here, uh, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, we also have the counterpart that we can copy the Ruin Crab, which is kind of nice. I don't know, man. This deck seems hilarious to me. Um, the dungeon deck, by the way, is very sick. Look at this. They're getting uh, so much value off of this. Very, very cool. Um, and they have already completed the dungeon, so that's really good. All right, uh, well, let's do the thing first. So we're going to do this. We're going to copy the Ruin Crab. We're going to drop the Druid class. That's going to gain us a life. Uh, and then we're just going to drop the lands. Uh, none of this really matters, truthfully, because we're all just going to die. <laughs> um, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh... It kind of got going. No, it didn't. It didn't really get going. Uh, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, can you give us another turn? I don't want to sound like Day9 asking for another turn, but I can have other turn. All right, so can we even block enough? I don't really think so, no. So, yeah, I'm just going to concede. All right. <laughs> We lost! Big surprise! Let's jump into game two. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are for our second game. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this is a much better keep, to be brutally honest. We've got the turn one Ruin Crab, which is a good enough to, to keep. Uh, and we can just play it off of this, which is great. It's a nice little start. Um, we've got options for the second turn here we can just drop this and play the maddening cacophony which isn't a bad play uh alternatively though we can go for this get the second green source and then have the auger on the following turn which i actually think i like a little better the maddening cacophony we could actually just try and wait on uh to be able to potentially hit uh no we're not gonna attack we're not gonna, we're not sending a message not today 
Uh, this is the Warriors deck, which is very, very scary. They could very easily just kind of get us out of nowhere with this list, so I don't particularly want to just lose out to that. Uh, let's play the Augur here. Again, this just allows us to hit uh, lands off the top of our deck, which is quite interesting. Um, it's also just a decent blocker. I mean, it's not amazing, obviously, but it's something. Okay, uh, well, we've got some options this turn. We can just drop this and mill them for six. Alternatively, we can Field of Ruin this and mill them for six that way, uh, but also get an extra land out of the deck. Uh... Actually, I'm going to go this route. Uh, let's let's double up on everything that we possibly can here. We'll go ahead and drop this, though. That's going to mill six, which is, again, pretty solid. Uh, and I... Well, no, we're not going to attack. I don't want to... I really don't want to just straight lose to a silly little thing here. So we're not going to let our, ourselves do that. Um, all right, so we can do... We can drop, we'll drop Gretchen here. We'll drop the land, that's gonna trigger the two crabs. Uh, oh, I guess actually we could have done that slightly differently, but that's okay. Um, and I think, yeah, we'll just go ahead and Field of Ruin here. Let's get this out of there. Uh, what this does again, it's gonna get a land off of our deck, uh, as well as a land out of theirs. But what this allows us to do is trigger the, the two crabs twice, uh, which is great. Oh, they did get a red source. Okay, fair enough. So maybe that wasn't a good play, uh, but everything's fine. It's fine. Um, Alright, <laughs> right, they've got 20 cards left in their deck, guys. Can we do it? Can we beat 20 cards on the deck? Uh, we've got... Alright, so... If we get a land off the top, we actually can get somewhere. <laughs> we did not get a land off the top. Uh, hmm. We can draw a card, but that's not that helpful, truthfully. Um, the alternative would be to play this and play the Augur. <laughs> also, we should have been attacking this whole time. I just haven't been because I feel like it's not worth the risk. Uh, but maybe it is. Let's do it. Get an attack in. We did it. All right, let's see what happens. I mean, I, it could be a really good turn. It could be a really bad turn. We have no idea. Uh, we do have the Druid class off the top here, so hopefully we just have a couple lands off the top of the deck. We can play this, level it up, uh, and then just mill them out here. Uh, we only need two lands to, to mill them out. This does have haste and ward. Uh, they do not have any extra mana here, though, which is quite useful. Um, Reach equipment attached to it. Um, I'm just gonna take it. It's not a deadly hit, uh, so I'm not really that worried about it, to be brutally honest. Um, Alright, let's do this first. Let's do this. I'm gonna gain a little bit of life. That's good. Uh, and then we just we just activate the, the thing. Get this out of there. And then this mills him. This gives us the win. Dude. We did it. We didn't lose. <laughs> we didn't lose. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, no attacks. We're amazing. We did it. We shouldn't have won, but we did. All right. Uh, I love it. I love it, guys. Let's uh, let's jump into a third game here. All right, guys. Here we are for our next game. Uh, I don't actually think we can keep this. I think we're gonna mulligan. Uh, ugh. um, we'll try it. It's not very good, to be honest, but it is what it is. Um, let's play the snarl first. I do want to try and leave up the Evolving Wilds and stuff like that. Like, those are double triggers for the Ruin Crabs here, but chances are we're just gonna, we're just gonna end up dying, uh, truthfully. But let's go ahead and mill for eight, just while we can. Let's get some mill out of there. Um, okay. So we did get some of the, the useful, uh, stuff on their end, but that's okay. All right. Yeah, getting a solid attack end by the opponent there, that's for sure. Um, 
We'll play you for blue, and we'll throw out the auger here. So now if there is a land on top, we can dig further into our deck. I do really like the auger. I'm kind of impressed by it overall. Uh, it just seems to make the deck run a slight bit smoother, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, uh, yeah, we're just going to kill the 2-2. Two -two. Um, so we can play you. We can play you, which isn't necessarily amazing, but it's something, uh, and we just don't attack. Um, but I think we're just gonna die this turn, right? Like, they just can attack in with a bunch of stuff and kill us here. Basically, like, there's not a whole lot that they can do. Yeah, they all get haste. Yep. Uh, no blocks, we're just gonna die. That was, like, the quickest game in history. All right, negative 12. Perfect. All right, let's move on to uh, a fourth game. We've got some time here, guys. We'll keep going with this deck. Uh, we, we might, we'll try and get another win. We'll try. All right, guys, here we are for our fourth game. Uh, and do we want to keep this? We've got the Druid class, which I actually really like. Uh, we've got no creatures, but I'm going to try it. I don't know. I'm not expecting, again, to win very many of these games, so I don't really have a, a dog in the fight here. This is really good, though. We're able to get this uh, Ruin Crab down, which is perfect. Um, hopefully they don't kill it. It looks like they're not going to. That's very good. Okay, uh, so what do we want to do this turn? I mean, we can play the Druid class, which I feel like is probably worth it. We got three lands off the top. Uh, let's go ahead and drop that Druid class. It's just going to allow us to, to hopefully gain a little bit of extra value. Um, and this probably is going to be a fairly aggressive deck with this in here, so... Okay, sure. Don't love that, of course, but it's not much we can do about it. Um, let's Maddening Cacophony. Let's mill eight. Ooh, we did get a few good things there. That was really nice. Uh, let's gain a life. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess because we are going to want to at least level this up next turn, so let's do this. Um, all right. We've got a lot of double majors, which I'm realizing is maybe not the best spell for this deck. Um, I do think it's okay late game because you can double up on the Ruin Crabs, but it doesn't seem to be all that helpful. Um, sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's another Cacophony. Um... <laughs> We're just going to mill eight, I guess. It's about all we can do. Uh, and again, some really good things that we got out of there, but I think we're just going to end up uh, losing here to really big stuff. Uh, really not even really big stuff, just semi big stuff. <laughs> we do kind of want to keep this from transforming, though, I suppose. So, Yep. All right. No. This is so bad. Uh, okay, we're just gonna pass. <laughs> that does mean this transforms, which I hate. Uh, but, I mean, they're just gonna go aggressive, I imagine. And, uh, and play out as much as they can here, which makes sense. I mean, they should. They should be able to, to kill us pretty quickly here. Yep. Yep. You can do it. Uh, exile for each creature card exiled this way. Okay, so they are trying to pick creatures here so they can get these out of there. Yep. All right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Useful. <laughs> All right. We did it. I'm going to concede. We are super dead. All right, guys, we're going to do one final game with this one. Just one more. Uh, I don't want to go too crazy. This deck, obviously, there's a hair on the microphone. This deck obviously isn't that good, but we're going to we're going to give it one more shot. All right, guys, here we are. This is going to be our final game. And yeah, I mean, this is a keep. We've got the Ruin Crab. We've got some Druid classes here. Uh, definitely worthwhile, I think. Let's go for it. Um, I'm still honestly just happy we got a win. I didn't expect to get any wins, so uh, that alone made me quite happy. Um, there's another Ruin Crab. All right, well, now we got to go for the double Ruin Crab, obviously. Uh, let's do it. Let's mill six. I mean, milling six on turn two is pretty solid, not going to lie. 
Oh, this is werewolves. Okay. Oh, I like that. Um, we're not going to send a message. We're not going to be those guys. Uh, next turn, though, we can drop the druid class, drop the field of ruin. Um, and uh, yeah, that should be pretty solid. So let's do this. Um, let's drop the field of ruin. Let's gain some life. And let's mill another six. Um, again, <laughs> not going to attack. Um, we did get a gold span dragon. Wow. They're already down to 38 cards. That's all I'm saying. Uh, they can probably fight one of these off here, is my guess. Um, I might be wrong in saying that, but I feel like that's not too off base here. Um, we definitely just try and block it. I believe. Do we try and block it? Maybe we don't. I'm going to say no. Let's let it hit. Not really worried about the damage aspect, uh, so I'd rather not just die to it. Oh. Do we go for the nine? <laughs> I think we go for the nine. We're here to have fun, guys. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, they should have. Oh, they messed up. They should have copy or uh, waited for us to target, I think. Um, let's get the double green. That's going to give us auger if we draw it. Uh, so that is worthwhile. We still get to mill six, which is pretty solid. <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, all right. <laughs> and we're still at 20 life, worth noting. The Druid class saved us two damage so far, which is, I mean, that's as much as we have taken this game, so I'm not upset by that. Oh, nice. Yeah, dude, that's really good. Uh, nope, not gonna block. <laughs> We're taking it. We're doing it. Um, okay. Uh, so we actually get to do a little bit of everything here. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to gain a couple life. We're going to then mill a good bit. Uh, and then... I think we're just going to Maddening Cacophony. Let's mill eight more. Look, we're trying, okay? We are doing the absolute best that we can. Uh, we did get to transform these back, which is useful. I guess we should have blocked the Naturalist. I just didn't really want to lose anything here. Um, but I'm going to try and block here. They may be able to kill it. I have no idea. Um, okay, they can't. That's good. Um... So we actually get to kill this here, uh, which does, again, trigger this, gets him down a little bit further. <laughs> uh, we're going to counter it. They should have waited. That wasn't super smart on their end. Um, all right, cool. So not only do we get an extra card out of their deck, but uh, we get to kind of own them a little bit here. Uh, Get the second blue source now. They can't play anything but the werewolf pack leader in their hand. That's very good to know. Um, so we gain a couple life. We get to mill six more cards. So now there's probably not enough lands in their deck to play a lot of what's in their hand. <laughs> so that's good. Um, all right, fair enough. You got one. I mean, that's good. Uh, and we do kind of have to block here, right? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we do have to block something. This does have trample. Um, so I guess we just block here 6, 7, 8, 9, and take 9. It's not ideal, but I think it's the best we can do. Um, there's another druid class. That's not super helpful, if I'm honest. Um, let's do this. And do this. That should transform is that correct does that transform back nope all right well we're just dead no we were so close it's fine it's fine good game the opponent didn't play super cleanly to be honest um we didn't play 100 percent perfectly either but that's okay uh man we were so close all right let's uh let's chat about the list guys
All right, so bad, right? Like, obviously just bad. Uh, this deck isn't good. This was just a silly one-off thing. I happened to see it, and I thought, you know what? I kind of want to try that, and I'm really glad I did. It was very, very fun. Don't get me wrong, uh, but it wasn't good. It was just kind of a silly one. Uh, I did really enjoy it, though. I found that... Um, you know, if you got the right start, you can get somewhere with it. But I think generally speaking, you're going to get out aggroed or outpowered pretty quickly. I do think we're pretty, pretty well set up against uh, slower decks, of course, because we just have a bunch of mill. And if they're not doing very much, we can hold up like a test of talents or something along those lines um, and kind of just get them. But I do think this deck needs a little something to be better. Uh, and maybe I just missed some cards, I don't know, but let me know in the comment section below if you have a, a mill deck or a version of this list that you would like to see. I would be very, very happy to test it out. Regardless, guys, this was just a fun one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like the video if you did enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe if you are not already. And stay tuned, guys. We will have some more gameplay, of course, for you very, very soon. But until then, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again very quickly. Very soon, very soon. Thank <laughs> you.